I think, as I mentioned earlier, AI will be a game changer. It's how companies adapt to it, right? So if you take a company like NCS, for example, we are in the digital services space. We have decided to lead with AI. What do I mean by that? We want to be both AI inside and AI outside. AI inside will empower all of employees with AI capabilities. Uh, we will actually use AI to do our software development, which you can imagine will be a very big game changer for us. When we talk about AI outside, we will use AI to serve our customers. We will help them to deliver different capabilities, whether it's a banking customer, a government agency, this is where AI will play. And we intend to groom about 3,000 AI practitioners and doing this together with our partners uh, AI software companies to make this possible. Right. Uh, I think one of the other keys uh, we're looking at with as AI comes for, and better, for better or worse, it is coming. And I, it seems that there's no stopping it. Uh, it. It's preparing workforce to make sure that the skills are up to date, not just because we uh, employees need to prepare themselves for AI, but companies also need to make sure that they have enough human resources to answer the growing and changing demands of AI. How is NCS uh, perhaps ensuring that their workforce is trained to handle uh, the changes that AI will unleash on your industry and across the industries you service? Yeah. I think for, to do that, we need a deliberate, uh, deliberate action. And we have a, our NCS AI strategy to make that happen. I mentioned earlier that uh, we will empower all 13,000 of our employees, and this is in Singapore and the region. So I think that's a very important first step for any companies uh, to undertake. Right. Uh, you know, when we look at uh, AI's data centers, uh, there's a growing demand for that. But some actually point out that uh, with Southeast Asia's big data center demand, AI demand, this also comes at a huge power and resources cost. Uh, you have not just electricity, but some actually pointed out that you also need to invest in water for cooling systems as well. Um, how are these constraints perhaps, uh, perhaps just uh, so, um, perhaps uh, uh, gauging or constraining the AI demand and how realistic can we be because these constraints are very serious, it's even for a country that's as water critical as Singapore, for instance. I, I think the constraints are there uh, in the market, as you rightly uh, mentioned, that's pertaining to the data centers. But if you look at the bigger AI ecosystem, let's take, for example, Asia Pacific. Okay. Uh, we believe Asia Pacific will be the center of a lot of AI action. In fact, by 2030, it is estimated that Asia Pacific will actually lead the AI market space, something like 220 billion of revenue uh, in, by 2030. And that will surpass North America. Right? So we'll see a lot of AI action here. And in, in Asia Pacific, besides what you would expect to be the US-led AI wave and the Chinese-led AI wave, we should also expect players from Japan, players from Korea, Let's not forget Japan actually created a humanoid uh, uh, AI robots um, more than a decade ago, right? And I think Japan will continue to invest in that. And of course, in Singapore, uh, companies here will also endeavor to do the same. I see. Uh, and, and when you take a look at uh, things in, in AI, uh, where, what do you think are the keys for Southeast Asia to stay ahead of this AI wave? Because you're talking about uh, US-led AI disruption, Chinese-led AI disruption. How do, how do we ensure that Southeast Asia, as a group at least, stays ahead of the pack at least. Yeah. I think Southeast Asia, obviously, you, the many governments and countries in this part of the world, uh, you know, many of the governments here have already indicated they will invest in the AI technology. And Southeast Asia will actually be the beneficiary with all these AI technologies that's coming to this part of the world uh, because they are open and I think uh, will be the playground for many of these AI applications to emerge.